Right, so integration in C4, okay, you'll find it comes towards two thirds of the way through the paper, and you've got part A, which usually involves a substitution, and then part B is integration by parts. So in part A here, it's clear it's a substitution question, because it says, isn't it, use the substitution, right? So um, we write u equals 2x minus 1. We'll write that down to start with. And remember, the idea is to substitute, yeah? To substitute, to replace all the x's in here with u's, okay? And the same then with the dx. You want to replace the dx, okay? Because it's no good having all u's here when you replace them and then keeping that as dx, okay? You need, you need to have a consistent letter. So if we replace the dx, we'll replace it with a du. And the way we do that is, is, is when you write down the substitution, we'll, we'll work out what du by dx is. So we differentiate, okay? Um, and all I'm doing is, I'm, I'm looking what I've got here. It's a u function in terms of x. So I, I differentiate du by dx, okay? I know to go in that order because, you know, you, you look at what you've got. It said here, du by then what's on this side, dx. So du by dx, and you differentiate that and of course, then you get two, quite straightforward, to that. And then you need to think about up here, right? Remember now, I want to substitute that dx, okay? I want to replace dx. So I need to see what dx is equal to. And what you do then with this is you, you could take that dx up here, because you're dividing by dx. If you take it up there, you, tie, you end up times in by dx, okay? So you get that. du is equal to two dx. And of course, to get dx equals, I just need to take that 2 down and divide, okay? So du by 2 is equal to dx. I mean, you could have done that straight away. You could have just swapped them, or you just take your time. You, you, you divide them by dx, so take it up and times, and then if you times in here, take the 2 down, all right? But the, part, the main thing is then you've got dx equals, okay? And that's what we replace it by. Now, in the substitution here then, we go to the, the integral, Okay, in a moment. But of course, before then, right, we need to think about the limits as well. Yeah, we need to think about the limits. Now, what are these limits in terms of? They're in terms of x, aren't they? Yeah, in terms of x. Okay, these are x values. Well, when I change all the, the letters to u, I need to have these numbers in terms of u as well. So, in, in this case, your x is 0. So, let's see what u will become. Let's put it in. So, u will be equal. 2 times 0 minus 1, which is equal to minus 1. So, so x is 0 and that produces u to be minus 1. And then when x is equal to 1, I put 1 in and I get out 2 times 1 is 2, take away 1 is 1. So there's my new limit. Okay. So let's go then for the integration. All right, let's go for it. So um, instead of writing that out again, I sometimes just put the letter i, right, to represent the integral integral and I'm going to now do some substitution so my limits minus 1 is my lower limit okay because that corresponds to the 0 right and then 1 is the upper limit because that corresponds to the x equals 1 so we go in there now let's think about what I've got here x is it possible to substitute x how I got x here well it's in there but it's not x equals, isn't it? So perhaps what I need to do here is just to rearrange this. So I can, if I take that one over the other, the, the, the minus one over the other side, it becomes u plus one equals two x. And then of course, if I take the two over, I'll have um, u plus one divided by two equals x. Okay, so that's what x is. So I can replace x with u plus one over two. The bracket, 2x minus 1, well, 2x minus 1 is u, isn't it? So I can just write that as u. So the bracket just be, is just u, basically. I don't need a bracket then, because it's, it's just u. And, of course, the power 9. And then, don't forget then, the dx gets replaced by du over 2. Okay, du over 2. So I've got that. Okay, so I've changed all the letters, I've changed the dx in terms of du, and I've also changed the limits as well, which is really important not to forget that, because limits now are in terms of u. What I'll do then is tidy this up a little bit. So, you know, you could um, think about, because u to the 9 is timesing all this, we could put u plus 1 in a bracket, times u to the 9. 
Okay, you can write it like that if that's easier for you to see. That's what I would do. Because you're timesing all that by u to the 9. And then on the bottom, you've got 2 on the bottom here, 2 here. And remember, we times in these. The dots means we times in. So when you times the fractions, you times the tops. You also times the bottoms. So 2 times 2 is 4. Du. Okay. Now, there's a couple of things that I can do. Because I'm dividing by 4. That's the same as like times in by quarter. So I could take out a quarter of this integral. It's like a constant of integration. It doesn't need to be in the integral. So dividing by 4 is the same as times in by quarter. Let's take it out. And I'm left then with just this in there. And then finally, before I integrate then, I could tidy this up. I could actually simplify this rather. If I simplify this, it becomes easy to integrate. As it stands, this is difficult to integrate because I've got a product here. But it's, but it's possible to obviously multiply this out because it's a bracket times u to the 9. So if I do u times u to the 9, that would be u to the power 10, yeah? Add in the powers. Okay, so I've done that times that. And then 1 times that then is just u to the 9, du. And then integrating that is really simple. Square bracket, of course, because we're going to put limits. And don't forget the quarter outside. U to the 10 becomes U to the power 11 over 11. So you increase the power by 1 and divide by that new power. U to the 9 becomes U to the 10 divided by 10. Close the square bracket and then between 1 and minus 1. And to finish off then, you just put the limits in. So you put 1 in. Now what's good about 1 is 1 to the power 11 is just 1, isn't it? You don't need to put power 11 because it's just going to be 1. And 1 to the power 10 is just 1. So you put the upper limit in, and then you take away then the lower limit. So put the lower limit in. Remember the quarter, don't forget that. And then put minus 1 in there. Now, be careful with minus 1, okay? Keep the power there, because when you put minus 1 to the power, the power does affect it, okay? It might, it, it might end up being positive 1 or negative 1. If it's, if it's an odd power, it's going to end up being negative 1, of course. Minus 1 here to the power 10. That's an even power, so that's going to be positive 1. So it's a case then of typing that into my calculator and getting it right. And then we get our answer. What have I got here? So you can do all this in one go because we've just got fractions here and numbers. And I've got, to see what I've got, I've got it out to be 1 over 22, which I hope is right.